Hello everyone, this is Romy Sosa from Nozin and today we are starting the complete full stack web development. Um, for that we need um, basic softwares I already mentioned in the previous video. Um, so we are gonna start with those and in today's video we are gonna make a landing page, um, I mean the first home screen page. Um, so let's get started without any ado. Um, first of all, I'll just go. My ZAMP is being installed, uh, downloaded. So till then, I'm just gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna name it as, um, let's say, study. If you have ZAMP installed, go to ZAMP, go to HT Docs, and make a folder study in that. I'm gonna copy this folder into my ZAMP folder once I get that installed. So go into study folder, make a new text document, name it as code or anything. Open it, save it as index.html. I'd go with PHP. Make sure uh, the save type is all files. Save and you can delete that file. Now you can use any notepad, any text editor, Dreamweaver, whatever you want to use. I prefer C, uh, Notepad++. So first of all, we are just gonna go like doc type HTML. And if you've seen uh, previous videos of mine, you already know that how I start coding by making a simple structure. And if you don't, well, this is how I do my work. So head, close head, um, so body, and close it. All right. Good practice is to use external style sheet but um, for the sake of ease and learning I am just using the internal style sheet but I will be shifting this style sheet um, to the external one by the end of this program so, so, title as a title and let's say Mergine. All right, save it, and now let me just show you something to make a clear idea. Um, in any website, there are basically um, three portions. One of that is this header one. Um, the other one is this menu one, and um, the last one is usually uh, a sidebar. But this website is not having a sidebar, and this is also developed by me. So. We are just making now. You, now you can see that there are three portions. Um, the one, the one is this header one with the links and all this um, search engine and stuff. Um, the other one is this, and the third one is the sidebar. We will be making sidebar also. So I'm gonna go in and make three devs. Uh, I'm gonna name this one as head. Or let's say, yeah, header is good. Um, this one's gonna be sidebar, and this one's gonna be the main. All right. So let's just test them, and that I'm gonna just say hashtag header. Um, background be like black. Color white, which is one color, and then I'm gonna say high the uh, pixels and width the first. Save it and check it. Run and so here this is, but you can see this is the white spacing in here. So I'm gonna just gonna go in style. This is default um, HTML or default CSS style. So I'm gonna go in body and I'm gonna say margin zero pixels, margin zero pixels. Let's save it. So now, if we refresh, you can see it's totally fit to the screen size. Um, and if we write anything in this, I'll 
So here it is. Um, we will leave. Um, okay, so we've got our. Okay, so we've got our header, and now we are going for our main. Let's say start with the cider one. So I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna say sidebar. And I'm gonna say uh, height be like 100 pixels or maybe 300 pixels. Um, width be like I guess 30% of the screen, and background be um, I guess uh, this will do. And color is like by default, so let's check. Now let's see. Um, yeah, and you've gotta do float right or left wherever you want to float it. I'm gonna go right. So let's refresh, and here it is. So um, I guess width is more, so I'm just gonna reduce it to 25%. Let's check if it. Yeah, this looks fine. Maybe 20% will look much better. Okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. You can increase the height. We are just increasing the height for the sake of testing, but later on we will be just not giving it a height, so it will define it height itself. We will see that later on. All right. So we've got our basic structure, um, and now we are gonna go for the main. I'm gonna say main, and I'm gonna say um, the width of sidebar is 20 percent, so I can give it width of 80 percent, but I want uh, I would just give it width of 75 percent. To make sure the thing defined, um, I'm gonna give it a background of um, let's say cyan. And I'm gonna just increase the height to 900 pixels just for the sake of testing. And I'm gonna say float. Let me just show you what happens if I don't put in float. So okay, it's it's totally in fine size, but because of I guess because of the higher and width so uh, but for the sake of um, for the sake of uh, perfection you can say to avoid any issues you can just say go left now if I refresh it it's still on the same position but we are not gonna give any color to the main so I'm just gonna remove the background and now let's start with going into main um, let's say H3 hello wall okay now I'm gonna P hello wall this is means oh my god so for that from knows me I am a well well okay go back and check it so this looks fine but you can um, you can see that the text is totally joined like here so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, main and I'm gonna say um, position or let's say just padding left for example 10 pixels that'll do okay so this looks fine um, now you see I have given the width of 85 percent. So after when I've given the padding of uh, 10 pixels, um, the main portion will not get immersed into the side side one. Um, let me just show you by adding background again to it. So you see, it is not getting merged into the sidebar. So that's why, for the sake of um, ease and for the sake of making no problems we just give it um, the width of 75 person instead of 80 person so let's remove background again um, or yeah let's just remove it or maybe you can give a background to the body so it gives background to everything inside the body and you can change the background of sidebar to black 
this is just for sake of testing this is not the final step okay so you can see um, we've done it but I guess that was fine so I'm just gonna remove all of this and save it and this looks totally fine now I'm gonna add a little bit of data in the sidebar and for that I'm going in and I'm gonna say solid page 3 view my like it okay sidebar is usually for these things in there I'm going to go like edge 6 um, Google announced enjoy 7 personally love these phones um, and I wish to buy one but I'm broke so <laughs> okay you can see but you can see that the 86 ones are pretty small so we're gonna um, give them like H5 and let's see how it looks okay this looks fine but you can still change it um, I'm just gonna change these to um, H5 Oh, let's just forget it for the, for now. Let's just forget it. Okay. Now, um, this text looks fine. This one, this one doesn't look too fine, but we're gonna um, mess with it in the next video. So now this text looks fine, but uh, this is too weird or maybe too um, too simple. So let's just change it a little bit. And for that, I'm gonna go in body and I'm gonna say, um, let's say, uh, maybe let's just uh, make P. Um, now, now you gotta remember that this P will um, the code in the CSS in this P tag will change the text will apply to every p tag in the whole website so if you want to give it to a specific area so make sure that you give that p an id and then you use that id for um for css um, but for me th this is fine so i'm gonna go and like font size say 24 pixels and i'm gonna use font family alvetica save it and see how it looks and this looks better but the font is not good so you can go web fonts you can get a lot of fonts you can use google font you can use any font you want and so anyone you like i like this one looks good so i'm gonna go and see specimen so i like this one i like it um so how do you go for it go specify and see css first of all you, we gotta do this um, we gotta copy this code and put it in the head so you put it here and then you can go and CSS like this. So okay. So let's see if it works, and it should. And yes, it's working. So now this is how you make a simple website. Similarly, you can add your um, text in the header one, and we're gonna look into that in the next video. Uh, so for now, this is it. Uh, maybe let's just give it a little bit of padding in the sidebar. Um, 
Um, let's say padding left five pixels. Save it, refresh it, and do a change. Okay. Oh. Okay. So with that, this this is not how it, it's gonna work. Um, I must go like. Sidebar and that eight six. No, let's say five left. Five pixels. Save it. Refresh it, and it's not so still not working. Uh, no, it, it it worked. It worked. Um, these ones are the eight six, and they moved a little bit forward. This one is the eight five. That's why I didn't. So you know how it works. But um, we are gonna completely change this look into the next video hopefully so that is it for now i hope you understood it and if there is any query and if you cannot understand me um you can just drop me a comment and i'm and i'm gonna help you as much as possible so like share and subscribe thank you thank you see i'll see you in the next video